Hi there everybody, it's Mary Kirby and I'm just back from Long Beach where I attended the Airline Passenger Experience Association's annual conference and exhibition. Now while I was there I got to see some pretty amazing new technologies for the cabin. But one company that's doing some really impressive things is Talus. You see they're bringing a new handset to their in-flight entertainment and connectivity systems that is based around the Android Open operating platform. They are also basing their next generation IFEC system on Android. So check out what Taos has to say about IFE and Android. Okay. So what we're showing here is, is the, uh, the new Touch Passenger uh, Media Unit. Um, it's, we're calling it Passenger Media Unit because it's very different than a t traditional PCU, which is just about control, right? Controlling the system. This now allows and enables the passenger to do multiple things at the same time. So we're calling it the Media Unit because you can consume and view content on this device as well as your big screen. So as an example, I have a nice Android operating system here that allows me to browse content. It's, it's uh, arranged by functionality in terms of uh, actions. Connect, listen, read, watch, etc. When I get to the movie section, it gives me the list of genres. I can view the content and I have various categories of movies. You'll see every time I pick a new movie here, it gives me some additional promotional information. This could be advertising. Uh, background information. But the focus is here. The passenger is using this device to browse his content and then select the content. Now the movie has started on the large screen. It doesn't stop me from doing anything different here. So I can continue to browse my other uh, movies, audio, video, create my playlist, manage my playlist while the movie is going. Right? I can then uh, read news stories, magazines, uh, browse the web. I could chat, send email messages, all from this device while this is happening. Also the question, you know, are we there yet? Or when are we going to get there? So I have you know, a map application that will run on here. It gives me the basic information about the map while the movie continues to go on. Um, other things we can do is we can play games. For instance, since this is an Android um, application, we can pull in from the marketplace uh, applications very quickly. And this is uh, just an example, Solitaire, Sudoku, Chess, Checkers, a lot of great applications that can be used directly from the marketplace right on the device and be used in parallel with your, with your media playback. So this really you know, enables passengers to do multiple things at the same time. And I think that's where a lot of the trends are in technology. People do this a lot at home with their phones, with their web, with the TV. So uh, we're trying to enable the, that technology to be brought into the aircraft. And it's a wired handset? It is a wired handset today. Uh, we use stand, the same standardized wiring and cutout and form factor that is approved for Boeing on the 787. We're in the process of uh, offerability now because we have a launch customer on 787 one year from now. So that is in process and uh, it will be in the Boeing catalog shortly. Yeah, so you've just uh, seen our Touch uh, PMU in action. Uh, as we talked about, it's moving. It's uh, based on an Android operating system. This allows us access uh, to the Google catalog of applications for Android, which opens up the platform to thousands and thousands of applications. In addition, our next generation Gen 4 uh, display, which will be available second half of 2012, is also going to be based on an Android uh, operating system, providing all of the same breadth of capability and application that will be available on the Touch PMU also in our next generation IFE seatback system. Do, uh, now, do you have a launch customer for that? I mean, is, that, is this system ultimately going to be going on some of the later 787s for Qatar Airways? Yes. Yeah. Currently, the uh, plan is, and we're working in collaboration with Qatar and Boeing to insert the next generation architecture into uh, the Boeing 8, uh, 787 uh, production for Qatar. So currently they're the first slated customer uh, for this uh, solution. Uh, it's potentially uh, going to be available uh, to others in, in the, the latter part of uh, 2012, but right now that's our, our target uh, launch. Alan, one of the things that your competitor is doing is launched a dedicated app store, challenging uh, designers to, to, to develop apps for the airlines. Um, do you plan on doing anything, anything like that? Do you think that's necessary or... Um, 
with respect to as you as you roll out this system? Yeah, well, in combination with moving to a platform like Android that inherently allows access to uh, many, many more applications through the Google App Store, uh, we've also launched our SDK, our uh, Software Developers Kit, which is a uh, platform uh, and layer of software in our systems that allows developers in the IFV community and beyond to develop a set of applications specific for our IFE. So that too will start with the Touch PMU very quickly and then also evolve to our Gen 4 display. So uh, exactly, that's something we've uh, announced in the past and of course are well on our way to implementing. Okay, excellent, thank you. Meanwhile, this is my cat, Phoebe. Phoebe, come here, Phoebe. Phoebe, Phoebe, come here. Phoebe, Phoebe. She's not deaf, she just, she likes to be bitchy like that. Thanks, Phoebe, good girl. <laughs> you brat.